Hard Clam, Wikipedia Audio The Hard Clam, also known as a quahog, round clam, or hard shell clam, is an edible marine bivalve mollusk that is native to the eastern shores of North America and Central America, from Prince Edward Island to the Yucatan Peninsula. It is one of many unrelated edible bivalves that in the United States are frequently referred to simply as clams, as in the expression clam digging. Older literature sources may use the systematic name Venus mercenaria, this species is in the family Veneridae, the Venus clams. Confusingly, the ocean quahog is a different species, Arctica islandica, which, although superficially similar in shape, is in a different family of bivalves, it is rounder than the hard clam, usually has black periostracum, and there is no pallial sinus in the interior of the shell. The hard clam has many alternative common names. It is also known as the northern quahog, round clam, or chowder clam. Alternative names In fish markets, there are specialist names for different sizes of this species of clam. The smallest legally harvestable clams are called count necks, next size up are little necks, then top necks. Above that are the cherry stones, and the largest are called quahogs or chowder clams. The most distinctive of these names is quahog. The word comes from the Narragansett word pokerauhawk, which is similar in Wampanoag and some other Algonquian languages. It is first attested in North American English in 1794. New England tribes made valuable beads called wampum from the shells, especially those colored purple. The species name mercenaria is related to the Latin word for commerce. Today people living in coastal New England still use the Indian word for the clam as they have done for hundreds of years. In many areas where aquaculture is important, Clam farmers have bred specialized versions of these clams with distinctions needed for them to be distinguished in the marketplace. These are quite similar to common wild-type mercenaria clams, except that their shells bear distinctive markings, for example, those from Wellfleet, Massachusetts and elsewhere have pronounced wavy or zigzag chestnut-colored lines on their shells reminiscent of a line of W.S. running across the shell. These are known as the notata strain of quahogs, which occur naturally in low numbers wherever quahogs are found. Hard clams are quite common throughout New England, north into Canada, and all down the eastern seaboard of the United States to Florida, but they are particularly abundant between Cape Cod and New Jersey where seeding and harvesting them is an important commercial form of aquaculture. For example, the species is an important member of the suspension feeding, benthic fauna of the lower Chesapeake Bay. Rhode Island is situated right in the middle of Quahog country and has supplied a quarter of the U.S.S. total annual commercial Quahog catch. The quahog is the official shellfish of the U.S. state of Rhode Island. The species has also been introduced and is farmed on the Pacific coast of North America and in Great Britain and continental Europe. It reproduces sexually by females and males shedding gametes into the water. Quahog parasite unknown is a parasite that affects mercenaria mercenaria. While little is known about the disease, Research is currently underway in several laboratories. This research is fueled by the need to inform aquaculturists, who suffer financially because of the mortality rates in clams that QPX inflicts and the ensuing years in which runs must be left fallow to clear the disease. It was discovered along the coast of Cape Cod, Massachusetts in 1995. In coastal areas of New England, New York, and New Jersey, 
restaurants known as raw bars or clam bars specialize in serving little necks and top necks raw on an opened half shell, usually with a cocktail sauce with horseradish, and often with lemon. Sometimes little necks are steamed and dipped in butter, though not as commonly as their soft-shelled clam cousin the steamer. Little necks are often found in the shell in sauces, soups, stews, and clams casino, or substituted for European varieties such as the cockle in southern European seafood dishes. The largest clams are quahogs or chowders and cherry stones, they have the toughest meat and are used in such dishes as clam chowder, clam cakes, and stuffed clams, or are minced and mixed into dishes that use the smaller, more tender clams. Historically, American Indians used the quahog as a component in wampum, the shell beads exchanged in the North American fur trade. The Narragansetts used the hard clam for food and ornaments. A population of hard clams exists in Southampton Water in Hampshire, England. Originally bred in the warm water outflows at Southampton Power Station for use as eel bait, the population became self-sustaining and can now be found in Southampton Water and has also spread to Portsmouth Harbour and Langstone Harbour. Distribution The term red tide refers to an accumulation of a toxin produced by marine algae. Filter feeding shellfish are affected, such as clams, oysters, and mussels. The toxin affects the human central nervous system. Eating contaminated shellfish, raw or cooked, can be fatal. Some other kinds of algal blooms make the seawater appear red, but red tide blooms do not always discolor the water, nor are they related to tides. Clams bought from a market should be safe, as commercial harvesters are extremely careful about red tides. They close beds that are even remotely threatened and keep them closed for up to three or four weeks after they are clean of any red tide. Commercial clam fishers who are known to break these rules will receive a major fine in the first instance and will most likely have their license to harvest or sell clams revoked, furthermore they are liable for any damages. Clam harvesters who violate the sanitary laws in New York face potential jail terms. QPX Human Use Clams and Red Tide Notes